Folks, welcome back to the newest episode of the Red Pride Thundercast. And in today's episode, we will go into the Thunder Blitz coverage, state the conference changes, and we will predict the sectional pairings like for this week. Because sectionals is this week. Sectionals are in full swing. Later this episode, we will go over the sectional pairings. I do want to give a huge shout out to the Plainfield Quakers. Last year, um, they lost Hunter Newell and all their best guys. Rookie Bryce Avance from the freshman team, from freshman and JV, is back. Technically back, but he's also playing varsity this year. Luke Sarns is a monster. Uh, and yeah, uh, uh, last year they had to. Uh, last year they did not have a good uh, end, but. But yeah, but this year they came, but but this year they overcame all odds and uh, yeah made and made sure that everybody was like, hey, that Quaker team is on top. And, and yeah, they're one of the class of five A's top teams. Week two this season was a washout, of course. Week three and four was normal. Week five another washout. Week six another washout. And yeah, last week, sectionals round one started. I, I went to the Brebuff Danville game, and that honestly was a great game. And I, but Danville, they got robbed at the end. Um, yeah, what they did, um, they had to, so what they did, they went on the field after celebrating, refs called the flag. Probably because the ball wasn't called dead, but I really don't know. So, I just heard this. They ju their head coach called for an appeal to the IHSAA. And yeah. Time to uh, save the new conference and conference changes. Next school year, Greenwood Christian and Heritage Christian will be joining with the Indiana Crossroads Conference because... Some of their other members are uh, you know, like are leaving. This school year, a brand new conference formed, the Capital City Conference, and this conference is great. Um, yeah, this conference has Crystal House, Heron, Indianapolis Arsenal Tech, Christmas Attics, and George Washington. Indianapolis George Washington, not the president, <laughs> and Purdue Polytechnic downtown, and and Tindley. Next school year, two new conferences will join, while the Sagamore Conference will be getting a makeover. The first new conference is the Monon Athletic Conference, Cascade, Crawfordsville, Frankfurt, Greencastle, North Montgomery, South Putnam, Southmont, and Western Boone will form that conference. And while, and while Beach Grove, Speedway, Tri-West Hendricks, Triton Central will form the Hoosier Legends Conference. Two new conference changes have been announced, though, for the Hoosier Legends Conference. Two weeks ago, Shelbyville, what did they do? They announced, hey, after next season, we, all, we will be going to the Hoosier Legends Conference. And then, this was long rumored since about week, week five of the high school season. What happened? Greenwood has announced they have accepted the... Uh, they have accepted with the invitation, and they will join the Hoosier Legends Conference in 26-27. First up is a Hendricks County matchup between Brownsburg and Avon. Brownsburg usually does choke in the postseason. So, yeah, but my, but my prediction, not this time. They will be Avon single-handedly 45-7. Next up is a Indianapolis rivalry, Crosstown rivalry. They are great, great rivals. These are longtime rivals. Perry Meridian will sweep Southport, thirty-five to three is the uh, final score. Next up is five A. It's sectional thirteen. I was, I was shaking. I was nervous about who we were going to draw. Look who sectional thirteen. Was going to be. Section 13, first matchup is 
It is the Whiteland Warriors at the Decatur Central Hawks. Decatur Central single-handedly has beat them multiple times. And that will happen again this year. Well, with that, yeah. Pay, yeah, Whiteland will win 40, I mean, Decatur will win 48-7. to seven. And then the next matchup, it's Plainfield and Anderson. The Anderson Indians and the Plainfield Quakers. You might be wondering, hey, where is it? It's in Plainfield. So, Anderson will have a fun, fun time traveling down here. Friday traffic, Taylor Swift like it's coming to town, and all the construction like on 465. That's not going to be fun. And I have Plainfield winning 73 to nothing. Up next is Mooresville and Bishop Chatard. The Pioneers coming into this game are the biggest underdogs against them. And I have, and I have once again, I have Mooresville winning. They will win 37-34 in overtime. Unless the appeal gets corrected, see, I just found this out. Until I learn if they do appeal the game, this is my prediction for this Friday. Ron Colley will once again travel to Prebuff and will win 35 to 30. Will be the final score. Yeah, 35 to 30 will be the final score. Lastly, is a county rivalry. Try West versus Cascade. I can't wait for that matchup. People have been and people have Try West uh, winning. People have been sleeping on sleeping on Cascade. Cascade might be meeting Evansville Memorial in the semi state championship in 3A. I have Cascade winning in overtime 39 to 38. Well, folks, that would do it. My name is Nick Green, and thank you for watching Season 2, Episode 1 of the Red Pride Thundercast. Remember to like and subscribe. See you all next time.